How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I just want to say, Dear Clay, what happened? So if you're wondering what this is all about, it is in regards to the $1,000 uh, Don't Starve Together Wendy skin for the costume collection that applies to, you know, the Halloween 2017 update. So if, for a little bit of context here, uh, last year when we had the Halloween update, the costumes for that update that was available to the players were limited to the uh, event itself. In other words, once the event was over, those costumes were no longer available. Apparently, Clay changed that in the 2017 Halloween event, and now you can actually buy those skins yourself. So in other words, like here you have the uh, Wendy Halloween costume. And of course, uh, Wendy is a very popular character in Don't Starve Together. And apparently, you know, a p couple of people got drops from this character, or for this character's costume, and they decided to stick it up here on the store for $1,000. And you might be wondering, well, what is, what is the problem with that? Well, the thing is, I kind of thought we had a deal here, Clay. Um, now, while this per doesn't affect me personally, because I'm not that heavily invested in the skins themselves, I know there are a lot of people who are. And when the Forge event came out, there was sort of this understanding, I thought, between Clay and the community, that limited time events would have, uh, you know, the character skin packs available wholesale. So in other words, if you wanted to go in and you wanted to get all of the uh, the character skins for the Forge event, you'd be able to just go ahead and buy those for like $12 or $15. Not $1,000 per skin, just because somebody got lucky and managed to pick up a couple of those drops. And before you, you say to me, well, it's just a big joke, nobody's actually paying that much. Yeah, the, the price has come down since then. But if we look at what they have been sold for in the past, right here we can see one was sold for $62, one here was sold for $70, one down here was sold for $34, and uh, there are two for sale right now starting at $230. Granted, that's a lot less extreme, and apparently, uh, you know, two people who put them up at $1,000 decided to think better of it. But I, I mean, it's just a good example. Uh, you know, one of them changed it to $1,600. And 82, but I think it's just a good example of the inherent greed in the system. And it's not like these people deserve to make this much money off of it because they just basically got lucky in their drops. Like, there's not a whole lot you can do to influence it. There's no way you can actually just uh, be certain you can craft your way towards these goals. And there are a lot of people that this means a lot too. And I'm just saying, this is the kind of stuff that makes me think the developers are a little bit more exploitative. And that was something that I didn't expect from Clay Entertainment. Um, for the last four or so years that I've really been following Clay because I enjoyed Don't Starve, uh, I would say that uh, they were one of the developers that I respected the most. I always bought their games when they came out at full price. Uh, that is very unusual for me. A lot of games I actually wait until there's a sale before I go ahead and buy it. But with Clay, I thought that they always did so well by their community that there was no reason not to support them best that I could whenever they just went ahead and launched a game. So I thought it was like understood that Clay wouldn't be engaging in these kinds of exploitative practices. And just as recently as The Forge, I thought it was clear that limited time events would have their own skin packs that you could buy separate of the actual in-game system where you had to you know, sort of win a lottery to win the skins that you wanted. So that's just my opinion on it. I'm a little bit disappointed, I guess you could say. Obviously, the ridiculousness of uh, the $1,000 Wendy skin, it only applies to one of them. There are two for sale here, one starting at $230, the other one now went up to $1,682. I, I don't know. What, what do you think of it? I thought that, you know, Clay made it sort of clear that these limited time events would have skin packs available for people to buy them without going broke, trying to, you know, get a skin by chance off of the actual store the in-Steam community market. And, and you have a point that Steam shouldn't allow this kind of exploitation either. There's really no justifiable reason why a simple cosmetic item could ever cost $1,035 inside a video game. It, it is uh, very bad on Steam's part. It's very unethical, I would say, on Steam's part as well. You know, uh, Clay should have understood this going in, exactly what would happen to skins that had a perceived um, limited time availability to them, what that would do to the market and how that would drive prices up. This is the first Don't Starve Together skin that I've seen go for $1,000. And I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, I think it's going down the wrong route here. I, I, I don't think this is how things should be, and I thought that Clay would not sort of stoop to these sort of levels to make a quick buck, like a lot of other games. So that's just my opinion on it. If you disagree or agree with me, let me know below. 
Otherwise, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.